Welcome back to No Nonsense Reviews and How To's, How to Hack the Wii, Part 7. Today we're going to focus on Atari 2600 ROMs and the channel. So just like with Sega, we're going to need to download a WAD to install the Atari channel, but we know how to do that now, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem. So let's get started. Make sure your SD card is in your computer and go to this website that you'll find in the description below. Once here, scroll over to the download link on the right hand side, click on it. It's going to download a zip folder, unzip it, open it up and you want both of these this time, not just the apps folder. So cut them out and put them into the root of your SD card. Once you've done that, you're going to want to go into this Wii 2600 folder, open it up, go into the ROMs folder. This is where you're going to put your Atari games. So I have them saved somewhere else on my computer. I'm going to find them, get them all out of here, copy them, and paste them into the Atari 2600 ROMs folder. So from here you're going to want to download the WAD. This is how you're going to add your Atari 2600 channel. So go to this website that's here in the description, click on the download link, it's going to directly download the WAD into your downloads folder on your computer, cut it out of there, go back to your SD card, go into the WADs folder, go into the channels folder, and just paste. So this is how you're going to get your Atari channel. Back at the Wii, make sure your SD card is installed, go to the homebrew channel, hit start. Once you're in here, go to the multi-mod manager and hit uh, click load. You're going to want to go into the iOS manager, scroll over to the 249, Hit the home button to load it. It's done loading. From here you want to go back. So hit B on your controller. Go down to the WAD manager. Scroll down to WADs. Click A. Click on the Atari WAD. It's now loading. Done. Click any button to continue. You can get out of here now. Press B. Press B again. You don't need anything else in here. You can press the home button to exit. You don't need to be in here either, so press the home button. Exit to the system menu, and there's your Atari channel. So let's go into it and see if the games work. Click start. You want to click on start emulator, and here are the games. So we can pick any one of these or whatever Atari games that you decide that you want to install. Here it is, it loads up. Again, you can't hear any sound, but I can assure you that there is sound. Here it is, oh, I just crashed into something that didn't work out so well for me. Just crashed again. I just want to show you that the gameplay works, so... Here it is, it works. I'm doing great. Let's try another game. Pac-Man. There it is. Let's uh, get away from this guy. I'm not doing so well. 
Anyways, I want to show you that it works. It does. So that's it. Thanks for watching. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to download a program called USB Loader GX. And you're going to need that one to play Wii games and GameCube games from an external hard drive or a USB stick. Thanks for watching. See you next video.